Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of robertoblake.com helping you create something awesome today. So today we have another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. I'm actually going to show you how to make a simple motion title in Premiere Pro. This is something that you don't need to do in After Effects, although that could definitely be interesting and I might cover that in the future. But I'm going to show you how you can use the resources you already have and make some awesome motion title sequences and intros for your YouTube videos, for your vlogs. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. One of the first things we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select some footage. I can either select this or actually I think I do want the footage uh, from the passenger side window here because I think that's going to actually work the best for this particular tutorial. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select um, just a certain amount of the footage because it's it's going to create um, just something interesting and then I'm going to put the text over it. So I'm going to select an input area and an output area and this is enough for us to work with to kind of uh, make the point and to have something to overlay our text on for our intro. And I'm just going to slide that to the beginning of the timeline there. All right, so we have our initial footage and we need to put some type on top of it. That's going to end up here on the second video track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, New Title. You can also use the shortcut Control T and you can do that. There's also the ability to go over into wherever your bin is and you can go ahead and you can click New Item and you can click Title and that will do it too. And we're going to just call this uh, Intro Title. That's pretty straightforward. And what this is going to do is this gets us into the, um, the title panel. And here we have a lot of different things going on. One of the things we have is we do have the ability to kind of see what our overall image is going to be as far as our video that we're making this title sequence over. And then down here in the panel, we also have title styles. And so you can go ahead and you can pick from the default styles or you can use the title properties here to adjust it on your own. So again, these are just some things that make it simple. I'm going to actually uh, pick brush script here and I don't know if we'll keep this font um, and we may adjust some things, but then I'm going to go to the safety margins here on the video so that it doesn't end up out of screen. I'm gonna select center and I'm going to title this new adventures in vlogging. Then I'm going to select this and then I can adjust the font size. I can do that over here or I can do that over here and I can do it either by typing in a number value or by just um, dragging it like so. And you see that I know that that's centered. I know it's within the margins of safety here and that's actually working out uh, pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to decide that that's perfectly fine. Now if I want to I could obviously I could change some things here. I could change the fill color by selecting it here and I could change that to red for example which isn't going to work for us. So we're going to keep that white. We can affect the opacity, the drop shadow. We could affect any number of things, the tracking, the kerning, all of it. So we do have you know options here. We can even affect uh, the leading which is um, or letting, depending on how you want to pronounce it, which in typography is the space between lines as far as our vertical lines here. So that's going to allow us to make this title what we want it to look like. Once we've done that, this shows up in our bin in the way that we labeled it, which is New Adventures in Vlogging Intro Title. So I'm going to drag that to the second um, video track here. I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit more. And so when we play this, you can see that just automatically shows up and then it disappears. That's not exactly what we want. And I also want to show you something that will make this more visible, uh, just depending 
on what you're doing. We actually covered this in another tutorial that we'd encourage you to check out um, where we actually use the uh, Lumetri color panel. And I'm gonna do that again here just to um, ultimately adjust my video so that it will um, blend with my title sequence a little better. So one of the things I'm gonna do is here we have the title sequence. I'm going to uh, place a hard cut here and I'm also going to place a transition. So I'm going to go to my effects panel. And I'm going to choose cross dissolve. So that transition takes place. I'm also going to put a cross dissolve uh, at the end of this here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this to where they kind of happen simultaneously. The reasoning for this is that using the uh, Lumetri color panel, and we could do this with an adjustment layer by moving this to track three and we could do it this way, but just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to use the Lumetri color panel to affect this footage and to ultimately make it just a little bit easier to read. So I can do that either by reducing the exposure here or if I want I can go to the curves. I can go to the curves and I could adjust here in whatever way I want whether it's making things darker or brighter. I can go ahead and I can adjust the curves accordingly to just make the text show up more visibly here. And what's going to happen is, as I transition, we get the full color and then I can do whatever I want to that footage. Like if I thought that footage would actually look better, brighter and more vibrant, um, then I can go ahead and I can make that adjustment. And as the title fades, it fades into that. So that's convenient. But now we need to add some motion to this so it doesn't just appear, which is fine for it to just pop in like that, but it's not the ultimate goal of what we're doing here with the video. So I want to create some kind of motion for this, something that could be interesting or subtle. So we're gonna click on this, and then we're going to go to our effects control panel, and we're going to look at motion. So we have some interesting options here. Using the positioning, we can adjust this, we can um, have it you know, become larger in terms of scale, but let's look at where we would want it to actually start. And I think I want it to actually start here. So what I'm going to do is I want it to look exactly like this, so I'm going to go ahead and click position and scale so that no matter what we do at the beginning, this is what we end up with in terms of a result. And as for positioning, you can adjust it where it comes in from the side by moving the numbers here on the left. We can undo that. Or you can make it come from top or bottom by adjusting these numbers over here on the right. And in this case, I think I want it to actually come from the top. So let's go ahead and see what happens. I also want that to happen a little bit faster. So I'm going to move it closer together in the timeline. So when we play it back, this is what we get. So that's a simple fly in or drop in, however you want to phrase that. And that's a very simple way to do this motion graphics effect. Now let's assume for a moment that we're fine with that, but once it's in, we want it slowly over time to get just a little bit larger. We can go ahead and we can add another keyframe as far as scale here. And we can go ahead and we can increase that subtly. And I only want to increase it subtly by another, mm, you know, 10% or so. So what you'll see happen here is that this flies in and then it gets subtly bigger and it fades out and then the clip starts. 
So again, this is how you can create a motion graphics title and intro sequence in Premiere Pro pretty simply. There are a lot of other different techniques and things you could throw in here, but ultimately this is one of the simplest and straightforward things you can do to make an interesting video. You can do this with wedding videos, you can do this with your vlogs, and this is just a really fast way to make a little cool intro title sequence for whatever you're making. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember, I have a lot of other getting started in Premiere Pro tutorials on the channel. Everything from the basics of how you do video editing and approach it, things with color grading and color correction, and I'll be doing some more small tutorials like this showing you individual tools and techniques. If you have questions about Adobe Premiere Pro and how to use it, definitely leave those in the comment section or give me your suggestions for future tutorials. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so very much for watching, and don't forget, create something awesome today.